Hello friends, this is Shomen from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. I am discussing uh, with the pipeline processes in my channel as well as some important items or something we want to refresh the knowledge in our mind. Let us start. How flange rating works? That means when you are buying a flange or when you are ordering a flange or as a site foreman you need to pick a flange for your work from the store you have to mention some specifications the vital specification what flange needs is the rating let's say 600 pound flange 900 pound flange what does it mean a common area people new to the piping industry struggle with how flange rating works with so much at stake, it is vital that flange in the oil and gas and petrochemical industries can withstand the temperatures and pressures they are subjected to. So it is not simply the size of the flange that is important, but its rating is also equally important. Choosing a flange with the correct rating will ensure it can withstand the working pressures at various temperature it is designed for. What is the rating system means? is that two flanges designed for the same nominal pipe size or NPS can have different rating. Let's say six inch can be 900 rating, it can be 600, it can be 150 pound, or even it can be as high as 2500 class also. Obviously, the bigger the class number, the stronger and heavier the flange is. The picture here, you can see the class 900 and 300 class flanges with the same NPS nominal pipe size is 4 inches for example. Even the number of bolts are 8 in both cases but the diameter of the bolts are of even different for the class 900 as compared to class 300. So how the flange rating works? I put a table for you for better understanding. So what is the recognized industry standard for the rating? Most popularly used internationally standard for flanges all over the world is ASME B16.5. It covers standards applicable to pipe flanges and flanged fittings, including flanges sizes from half inch to 24 inch diameter. To illustrate, the chart here shows the maximum pressures allowed for different classes of carbon steel flanges. Wherever you buy from which part of the world if you are telling 600 pound flange and it is manufactured as per ask me b16.5 means it will give you the similar data this is wonderful actually to make a standardization as you might expect as the temperature increases maximum permitted pressure is reduced so let us read some of them from the table the flange class 150 at temperature 300 degree Fahrenheit, the 150 pound can withstand 230 PSI as well as the 300 pound can withstand 655 and 1500 can withstand 3270 PSI whereas the maximum rating here in this table is 2500 class, it can withstand 5450 PSI. This is for you to give an idea how the flange rating is work. When you are asking 600 and when you are asking 900, you should bear in your mind 900 is much stronger. It can withstand more pressure at the same temperature. How the flange rating works for diameter over 24 inch? For NPS 26 inch to NPS 16 sizes, the different standard applies, not a ask me B16.5, but it is ask me B16.47. As before, there are different ratings up to class 900, but these are also split into two groups. There is a series A and series B. Unlike ASME B16.5 flanges, the only types of flange available here are the weld neck and blind types. Series A applies to MSS SP44 steel pipeline large diameter flanges. In general, ASME B16.47 Series A flanges are thicker, heavier and stronger than Series B flanges for the same size and same pressure rating and can therefore withstand more external loading than Series B type. 
From a commercial point of view, this makes Series A more expensive than Series B equivalents. Series B applies to API 605, large diameter carbon steel flanges. These needs more bolts and knots than a Series A flanges and have a smaller bolt circle diameter. This results in less flange movement after installation. Finally, how to ensure the joint integrity? Selecting the right flanges is important, but the integrity of the joint will not be assured if the flange sealing surface is damaged. This may occur during transportation, construction of pipeline, or through corrosion after a period of use. Fortunately, a damaged flange can be repaired by machining the surface with a flange facing machine. These machines are available in external and internal mount configurations in different sizes. Some capable of machining with flange diameter as large as 120 inch, that is equivalent to 3050 millimeter. So for the flange facing machine, we might discuss later. These topics end here. If you like the way of my teaching, please share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the like button. Signing off, showman for today.